I wanted to try another restaurant featured in this book, but the place was filled with busloads of tourists, so we crossed the empty road and took a leisurely 15-minute walk to Depo Port instead. There were pasta malam stalls selling fried shrimp and squid sundae, and back there are more restaurants. If you're game for such unique seafood, this is the place to go. On the quest for dinner, I walked the entire stretch and finally reached the end. It was there I found tanks of shellfish like scallops, clams and fan mussels in front of a small restaurant named Biomi Kui, run by a lady who coincidentally speaks English. What we do is we could we take this inside and put some noodles and vegetables and the sauce in it and make a sauce out of this. And that's how you eat this one. And for this one, we just cook it inside, like the barbecue. Yeah. I opted for grilled shellfish and she got to work. As this restaurant was located at the far end of the path, she mentioned that it was cheaper than the others. Besides shellfish, the place also offers hui for raw fish. I'll take this away for you because like few people do eat it but lots of people don't like to eat it okay. even though it's fresh. While waiting for the crustaceans to cook, I played with this little boy who puts my Korean to shame. I didn't understand most of what he was saying which made me kind of sad. After preparing my takeout, we pose for my mandatory a local a day picture. Kimchi! As Sokcho is a city famous for squid, it felt wrong to leave without a taste of it. So we stopped by the store where the owners invited us to sample some of the squid and pollock fresh off the electric grill. Mm. 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 After buying some of the local food products to take home as souvenirs, I took a seat behind the tented stalls by the sea where I numbed my shrimp and shellfish, soaking in the coastal atmosphere. But I still felt hungry. Concluded the night by reading more about the city, then stood outside watching the lights of the fishing boats twinkle in the far distance, hoping to return to Sokcho again because of the kind and welcoming locals I met during my stay.